Do you want to know what this huge machine is? Hey guys, this time this laser machine will be totally different from any of my CNC engraver that I had on this channel. Because this time this is a 20 watt industrial grade fiber laser. So that will be totally different. So let's check it out. So this is the cam marker B4 of 20 watts fiber laser. And we use this to engrave on materials such as metal, plastic, acrylic and leather, stone, gold and even silver. It's not working well for wood, paper or any organic material in general, as we usually do with my previous diode laser engravers. The key features of such a laser machine is the speed. Because it uses galvano actuators, so the laser is fixed in place, and using mirrors moving at high speed is able to draw shapes a lot faster than moving the entire laser module. My new project was requiring some flexible PCBs, and PCBWay was the right solution for that. And the order process is so simple, just go to pcbway.com and select flexible PCBs. Upload your Gerber files as always and select your settings directly on their website. You also have the option for rigid flex PCBs if you want, and other settings for the color, the thickness, the gold immersion and so on. I received my PCBs in just a couple of days and they look amazing. The tracks are very small but even so, PCBWay did a great job and they have capabilities that go even lower than that, and you could check them on their website. So try yourself their services for flexible PCBs like mine, and like that you can complete your awesome project. And check more for other services for prototyping PCBs, automatic assembly, SMD stencil and much more on PCBWay.com. Before I assemble it and make some tests, let's check what we receive. In my case I've got the laser machine, but also the rotary attachment, for engraving on round objects such as rings, bottles, metal tubes and so on. And we will do that later. Inside of the machine box we have the main laser unit, the electronics box and the metal stand. Together with the engraver you also get the 110mm lens and the 200mm lens. And we will see why in a moment. For batch engravings you also get this foot pedal, so it will be a lot easier to change the object and engrave once again. You can also use the engraver handheld, and for that we have this support. You add it on the engraver and use the handle to place it over the material that you want to engrave. You also get the power and data cables, some safety glasses, some USB adapters, grounding wires and these acrylic alignment brackets. And obviously you also get the user manual and a USB drive with all the needed software and settings. And along with the machine I also have the rotary attachment with its controller box. And that's everything that you get with this particular laser engraver kit. Assembling the machine is very easy as placing the stand over the electronic box and add 4 screws. Then you attach the laser unit and that's it. In just a few minutes the machine is ready. To use it you could use Lightburn if you have a license, but the machine comes with the EasyCAD software on the pen drive which is a free software and works perfectly. And before the tests let's talk some specs. Different from my previous diode laser CNC engravers, the wavelength of the B4 is of 1064 nanometers which is invisible to the naked eye, but is perfect for engraving on metals such as stainless steel, silver or gold, copper or even aluminum. But don't worry, it could also work on plastic, stone, rubber, acrylic and even painted wood, but directly on organic stuff such as paper, bare wood or even your skin, it won't make too much damage as you can see on this paper. But it will affect your eyes so make sure that you use it with the protective glasses that they give you. That's very, very important. Thanks to the Galvo actuator system, the engraving speed could reach up to 15,000 mm per second, which is impressive. Engrave in just a few seconds. As for the printing area, it could be of 110 by 110 mm or 200 by 200 mm. And that's because you get two lenses. If you attach the 110mm lens, you get an area of 110mm by 110 and with the 200mm lens, 
you get the area of 200 by 200. But the difference is the resolution. With the 110 mm lens, the area is smaller, but the resolution is a lot better with a much smaller laser spot of only 45 micrometers. And to see how detailed is that, here's an example on this metal sheet. There's no way you could read this small text with the naked eye. But here we have it under the microscope. So as you can see we can get some great details with this machine. The spot is very small. The controller also has these two push buttons for leveling to go up or down. But you could also do that manually by using this lever here. To adjust the focus, just check the manual. Depending on the lens that you use, you have these two values. So adjust the height till you reach those values and the machine should be in focus. You also have the emergency button just in case. And on the back we have the output for the rotary controller and also an input for the foot pedal. Obviously we also have the USB input. The machine works with Lightburn or EasyCAD. So from the USB drive install the EasyCAD software and open it and let's make some tests. The most important settings are here. As you can see we can control the power, the speed but in this case also the frequency. Another setting that you could change is the hatch, but that's for later. The first test I wanted to make was on stainless steel, and I wanted to make a graph for power versus frequency. So for each square here I have a different configuration of the power and the frequency. I test this on stainless steel, and here are the results. The first attempt was not well focused, so I've made the engravement once again. And how interesting! Depending on the frequency, the created oxide color is different, so you can create different colors on metal, from white bluish to orange brownish. And having this graph, you can write it down each value and use it for future prints. I've also tested the same example on copper, and here it is. Then also on stainless steel, I've made the test of frequency versus hatch. The hatch value is basically how close the engraving lines are one to each other. As you can see here we change the hatch value and the distance between the lines is bigger or smaller. And again depending on the use frequency we can also change the color of the engraving on the metal. Look how beautiful it looks, from a black bluish color to even red colors. And the last test on stainless steel was power versus speed. And these are the results. Now let's test it on aluminum. And the first test was power and frequency. As you can see we can easily engrave on aluminum as well. But this time the color palette is not that spread. We can get some white and grey tones of the colors. So I've made the next print of frequency and hatch value. And this time the color palette was a lot better. And the final test was also speed and power, and I've got these results on aluminum. Another cool feature is the rotary attachment. So connect the controller to the back of the machine and screw it in place on the base like this. You can use this to engrave on rings for example. In EasyCAD software select the ring text engrave and then you add the ring diameter. Then you can preview the text and if it is ok, engrave it. I've made another test here. And you could also engrave on the interior of the ring, using an angle like this. And you could use this tool for engraving on any round object that fits inside of the hook. Another test was engraving pictures. I've made this Tesla file with very good details so you could print your logos on metals with this machine. Oh and by the way, you could also use this to remove the rust from metals. Look how it removed the rust even from this old rusty hammer. Now I wanted to test something interesting and useful. This laser is powerful enough to remove copper, so I've got some of these copper PCBs. I've made a few tests with a simple circuit, but the first try was too low powered. And the next one was too powerful, 
and even remove some pads, as you can see here on the microscope. But finally, the final test was perfect, and I've made this circuit. As you can see, testing with the multimeter, there is no connection between the pads, so we have created a circuit on the PCB in just a few seconds. And on the microscope, we can see a clean cut, and have in mind that these are just 0.2mm tracks, so we could even work with small SMD parts. This gives me an idea for a future project, so stay tuned for that. So guys, with this machine you can engrave or even cut metal in some cases, but that's not the purpose. But you can clean or even remove rust, engrave with different color tones on steel, plastic, aluminum, you could engrave on rings or any round object, or even make PCBs on copper boards. And the best part is that it's very, very fast. This is a nice machine for my workshop, and we will see it more in my future videos. Compared with other industrial grade fiber laser machines, this one has a decent price. Check all the links below in case that you want one as well. I hope that you like this video and that you have learned something new. Thanks again and see you later guys. So guys, here I am in my workshop, another video that ended, I hope that you like it. And the most important part, I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons, to you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below. Uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts. All this kind of stuff will support my channel. So thank you very much once again.